All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting in the uh, Freedom Studios, and uh, one of the things that we have in front of us is uh, an AR-15. This is one that I just recently built. I actually had my son, 12 years old, <laughs> put this thing together with my help. But in any case, uh, it's always been kind of like a dream of mine. I've, I've built some of the best ARs that uh, you could ever put together in my mind. Uh, and I've been told by other people. But in any case, uh, what I wanted to do was put together a series of ARs that were matching. As a matter of fact, these lowers that I have built up and put together, I've already put together the lowers for this particular setup, this series. I wanted to have four matching rifles. I thought that'd be kind of cool. I mean, you can build rifles that are $5,000 and then you can build a th rifle that's $500. There's all different types of scenarios. In this scenario, I wanted to put together something that was a, uh, a little higher end than your typical just uh, the run of the mill like Palmetto State Armory AR. So I, I developed in my mind what I was looking for. So I thought we take this opportunity. We're going to take this out today and I'm going to shoot it and uh, we're going to demonstrate a couple of different tripods. Uh, first of all, I know we're jumping around here. Death X Squad. They put together this little guy right here. This is a tabletop tripod not made in China. None of this is manufactured in China uh, and is hand assembled here in the States. So I'm real proud of my guys over there at Death X Squad. We'll do a review on this thing coming up. It's got some really cool attributes. Uh, one being that you can use it with both pick rail and the Swiss Arca rail. But let's uh, go through, I wanted to go through the independent parts and pieces of this thing because it's taken me forever to go ahead and put it together. So one of the best things that I absolutely love, and we'll go from the rear to the back, I love the B5 SOP mod. Uh, I've got all four of these things are going to be uh, use, using this guy right here. And then I've got a more user-friendly, more economical version. We're going to have the uh, Bravo, the B5 Bravo on those. Moving forward, we just go with a regular old uh, Poverty Pony uh, Anderson lower. But the difference is I've got the Hyper Fire Duty Trigger in this thing. And I saw this guy uh, about three and a half pound pull on this trigger, but I saw this the very first time with tactical considerations. Guys, if you're not subscribed to that dude's channel, you're, uh, you're, you're missing out. He's awesome. The uh, lower parts kit, of course, is one of my favorites is the Strike Industries. Just always make sure we get some blue Loctite on your safety uh, selector switch here. Now, I bought the upper receivers through uh, Optics Planet because they have a deal running with Wilson Combat. And the cool thing about the upper receivers, that their tolerances are very tight when it comes to configuring, inserting the barrel into the upper receiver. There's not a lot of play. And one of the first things I'll do is I'll try to match up different receivers to different barrel receiver uh, uh, extensions. And you can actually take the barrel and stick it in there. And I've had it where they'll just sit there. You can shake them and the barrel will just rattle back and forth. And what we'll do is we'll take some Loctite 609 run up in there. Um, all four of these rifles that are going to be configured like this, we run the BCM, this is the Mod 3, uh, what do you call it, the charging handle, and then also a really good deal this last week, I was going to put a video out on it, but they were doing free shipping uh, on the uh, Palmetto State Armory Nickel Boron Bolt Carrier Grizz for $129. So all four rifles will be running that. Now, you did, last night I did a video where we showed you a couple different barrels. The barrel on this guy is the uh, premium Hansen profile that comes with the pinned uh, gas block. And I can't remember what gas tube I'm running, but uh, anyway, it's a, a ballistic advantage. Uh, and then the, the handguard, I believe, is a Mark 8. Yeah, is the Geisley Mark 8, which I think is probably one of the best suited handguards for me in that we have the M lock all the way around. It's kind of cool because I've got this thing set up with the on the <laughs> and the tripod with the uh, kinetic development uh, pick rail. So I can actually put this thing in here and it'll click in anywhere on that. Also, a couple of light configurations that I have uh, utilize the M lock. So there's M locks all over this thing. We've done a review on this guy. Uh, at the end, I decided to go with the Strike Industries. This is their Venom or whatever the hell they call this thing. But the cool thing is, is you can take the uh, that flash mitigator thing and stick on every one of these. For the money, I love these guys. I love their four prong and then also the Yankee Hill uh, Phantom 
is one of my favorites uh, for flash, flash mitigation. So the cool thing is <laughs> we're going to top these things off with a multiple different uh, variety of scopes. Uh, this one is topped off with the 1.8 first focal plane with the Raptor reticle in there. And that's a really cool reticle in that you can uh, engage targets at multiple distances using the reticle. And we're going to demonstrate that today. I'm going to take this thing out. First thing I'm going to do is this is going to be the test platform. And of course, I've got to finish putting all the uppers together uh, to match this. And we're going to put um, probably a, a 3 to 18 optic on each one of these things. And one of the cool deals I want to do, because we always run into situations where, oh yeah, my barrel, I'm getting sub MOA groupings with that. Where another guy, his barrel, he's getting uh, two MOA. So I think one of the coolest parts about this is that we're taking four identical rifles. We're going to take those out. We're going to put the same round, same lot number down range and see how they compare at different distances uh, in accuracy. So it'd be kind of cool. And we're going to accurize, we're going to true the face of the uh, upper receiver with each one of these things. Uh, that, I, I believe, gives you a better chance of being accurate. Now, today, we're going to be shooting the uh, IMI 55 grain because uh, the guys over there at, uh, oh gosh, what is it, Rifle Steel or something like that, <laughs> they sent this out for uh, the to in exchange for kind of testing out some of their stuff. And, uh, you know, free ammo is better than no ammo. So in any case, um, I didn't bring any 77 grains, 62 grains, so we're just going to get a general idea. We're going to go ahead and zero this optic. We're going to take it out to probably about 500 yards just to see how it works. But I wanted to just go through. So when I sit down and I, could, I go through my mind what I want in a, in a rifle, uh, a good duty rifle, this, in my mind, is an awesome duty rifle. Better than most because, yeah, you've got a great duty trigger on here, an excellent optic, great barrel, great handguard, uh, excellent uh, stock right here, just a regular old H1 buffer, just a regular old spring, nothing special. Uh, we do have the G42 spring, but that's going to go into another build that we've got coming up. So with that being said, guys, uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below when it comes to what you think of when you're going to be building a rifle. I'm going to go ahead, I'll put the, uh, the build uh, list on my website, kb32 uh, kb32tag.com. And uh, just an idea, let you know, um, if you go there, you hit the, uh, the pa Palmetto State Armory uh, link, it'll take you over there. They got some really cool deals going today. They got 10 uh, Gen 2 mag pool mags, uh, the Toolcraft uh, nickel boron bolt and a charging handle for $199. No, no free shipping on that one, but that's still a good deal because all those together run about $280 if you do the math. So with that being said, let me know what your thoughts are on the perfect uh, rifle, rifle concept. Let me know. Uh, KB32, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Good freedom comes in... That's beautiful, 5.56 five, at 3,250 feet per second. Whew. I like that. That's pretty cool. It's KB32, I'm out. Y'all be good. Boom.